What's up you guys? So, welcome to the vlog. This is gonna be, I've decided, my vegan for a day vlog. I'm kinda scared because you guys know if you watch my vlogs that I'm going to suck at being a vegan, but we're gonna try it for a day. I did the shopping, got some snacks, some foods kinda lined up that I know are vegan. I'll do a little backstory for those of you who don't watch me or like don't know anything about my personal health, fitness, dietary restrictions all that fun stuff. Just thought I would start off the vlog. First of all, I just want to say thank you to Huawei for partnering with me. I'm going to show you their Band 3 Pro. I'm going to go to the gym later and vlog my workout with it with you guys. Otherwise, I'm just going to take you throughout the day. It's pretty much going to be like a what I eat in a day style vlog, um, vegan, and my workout. And like, I'm going to see how my workout goes without having any meat. Like if, like, I know it's only a day. We'll see how my workout goes without having any meat or animal products or anything like that. So let's make breakfast. I'm gonna make oatmeal. I already had coffee this morning and normally I would put, um, you guys know I love my collagen peptides, but they're not vegan actually because it's from bovine. Is it bovine? Bovine? Basically, you see that little picture of a cow? Yeah, not vegan. Not today, Satan. I still use a little bit of coconut milk because I always put coconut milk in my coffee, so dairy free. Backstory for those of you who haven't watched my videos before. This is a fun backstory, isn't it, mom? A dietary restriction. <laughs> okay, first of all, if you don't watch my videos normally, you should subscribe because I'm vlogging every day in December and I just vlog like multiple times a week normally and it's just a fun time and I do a lot of like fitnessy stuff, post-grad stuff. My mom's wrapping a present because it's almost Christmas kind of stuff. Hi. Hi. Allergic to all nuts, peanuts, tree nuts, Cashews, almonds, name a nut. I'm allergic. Me? You're oh. a nut. <laughs> when I first got into fitness about a year and a half ago, I learned that I was allergic to pea protein. And consequently, I, I'm guessing I'm allergic to peas. I haven't really tried them. I just never really ate them, I guess. I tried a vegan protein powder and I threw up and I was like, what the heck? Like, what is wrong with this? And then I remember, and so I didn't buy it again, obviously. <laughs> and I like reacted as if I had had nuts. And then I remember I tried, like you had some sort of coffee creamer and I tried it when we were moving out of my house in California. Mm -hmm. And I tried it and I like kind of reacted to it a little bit, but I didn't have that much. And I was like, what the heck? So I looked at the ingredients and it had pea protein in it. So I realized I'm allergic to pea protein. A lot of vegan stuff is based on pea protein. There's a lot of things that are like protein based. Legumes. I don't really eat legumes because pea is a legume, right? I can eat, so like I eat black beans and stuff, um, but I just, I don't eat chickpeas and lentils are related to legumes, like they're related to peanuts, it's in the same family. I can't have high concentrations of soy, like I can have a little bit of soy in certain things, um, but if it's like all soy, like edamame, I will react to it, so. Basically, I have a lot of freaking, and I don't eat dairy by choice because of my eczema, and I don't eat gluten by, well, it's kind of by choice, but it's also Food health. Free diet. Yeah. So basically, that's why I'm not a vegan, is because a lot of vegan substitutes I'm allergic to, or I react to them, like my skin. That's why it's gonna be a fun challenge to be vegan for the day, because I usually eat meat and eggs and stuff. Here we go, vegan for a day. Let's make some oatmeal. <laughs> Shout out to High Brew. It's about coffee, I swear. Let's do half a banana. Yum. 12 seconds later. Okay, so I'm drinking lots of water. I kind of want some sort of a snack. I'm a very snacky person, generally. I might have some of these sweet potato crackers. I'll show you. These are from Costco. Made in a facility that uses dairy soy. Blah, blah, blah. As far as my allergies, I'm usually okay with eating things that are like made in a facility with it because oftentimes it barely touches it. They just have to legally say that. And I don't know. I feel like hardcore vegans even don't really pay attention to that. Like even if it was made in a facility with dairy. I don't know, dude. If you're a vegan out there, let me know. But whatever. I'm going to snack on some of these before I have my lunch. I'm still contemplating what I want to eat for lunch, but I'm thinking I'll do avocado toast and I usually put eggs on it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a vegan, you know? Because I'm a vegan. I can't call myself a vegan. I don't earn the title. You know? Eating with your mouth full. I, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing gets past you. <laughs> Especially your own joke. I have a really bad habit of talking with my mouth full. It's probably the most unclassy thing about me. That's not true. <laughs> I'll make avocado toast and just eat like avocado on bread without an egg. I just don't know if that's like filling. We'll find out. I'm not actually that hungry still, so it's not a big deal. I'm just filming me eating sweet potato crackers. Mukbang. Mom, do you know what a mukbang is? <laughs> <laughs> on. 
It's called mukbang. It's a video where you just film yourself eat and you talk about it. It's like originated in South Korea, I'm pretty sure. It's called mukbang. It used to be like a niche thing, but I think they've become more mainstream. So people I know started making like videos like that. I could never do it as I sit here filming myself eat. <laughs> But before I go to the gym and get my workout in, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Band 3 Pro watch that I'm gonna be using. If you guys know me at all, if you've watched my vlogs, I love you. You know that I love using fitness watches and fitness trackers to keep track of my workouts and everything. I use them religiously. I've had Fitbits in the past, Apple Watch, and so I know kind of like what I like and don't like in a watch. And I get a lot of questions from you guys all the time about like my fitness watches and like questions about how to use it and like is it worth it $400 for an Apple Watch? And then if you buy like that data plan on top of that, then you're paying monthly and it really adds up. You might just use it for the fitness aspect of it like I do. And so then you can get something like the Band 3 Pro, which is what I have here. They have a really competitive price for a fitness watch. That's why I wanted to share with you guys because I get so many questions about like, is it worth the money when it's like, you can get something that does all of these things and this is only $69.99. A much better deal, but really has all the features that you need in a fitness watch. But I have the little gold one, it's so cute. I love how sleek it is, honestly. It's multi-sports mode that can track your heart rate and fitness levels for a bunch of different kinds of exercise. And I'm dropping things in my mom's craft room. A bunch of different exercises you can track, including indoor running, outdoor running, walking, outdoor cycling, indoor walking, indoor cycling, pool swim, open water, and free training also, which is awesome. It features a built-in low power consumption, which is a big thing because GPS can be a big power user. It's a GPS built into it that you can use without your smartphone. So you can track your runs, you can track routes and distance with the GPS that's built into it. it also provides real-time evaluation of training effects, including VO2 max and recovery times. It gives you a lot of really useful information and feedback on your fitness. Water resistant, 518 yeah, it's so cool. If you're a swimmer, you can track your stroke style, distance, laps, number of turns, what? Calories burned during a pool or open water swim. So if you're a swimmer, like this is a very useful thing to have. And with Huawei TrueScene 3.0, you can even track your sleep. It tracks deep sleep, REM cycle, light sleep when you're awake, taking naps. Honestly, getting good sleep is such an important part of health and fitness that it's awesome to be able to track it. Like I said, one of the things that I'm obsessed with is just the curvature and design of this watch. I love the gold color color. I love how it's slim. I love the whole interface. It's just very easy to use. Not only just like cute and looks cool on, it's really comfortable. You can get it at Amazon, B&H, Newegg. They're adding more retailers. Also, they have it in black, blue, and this quicksand gold, which is what I have. You can get it for $69.99, a literal fraction of the cost of these other watches. The amount of things that it does for that price, it's unreal. And this is an awesome option if you're looking for a more affordable price for a watch. So I will have a link to this watch down below in the description box. Definitely go click it and check it out if you wanna get one for yourself, if you wanna get it for a gift for someone else. If you're starting off the new year with some new fitness goals, this is the perfect opportunity. Motivate yourself and just keep track of your fitness in the new year with all of your new resolutions, with your goals. Three o'clock, I kind of eat late on winter break. I don't know why, everything's just like pushed back. I have avocado toast on this Trader Joe's gluten-free bread. Oh, I forgot we have a toaster here. <laughs> So I don't have to make it on the stove. <laughs> Toast. Hello? Sir? There we go. It's so tempting. If you saw the vlog where me and my mom made these holiday treats. They're so cute. They're candy canes with marshmallows and chocolate and peppermint. And I can't have them though because marshmallows have gelatin, which is not vegan, right? Oh no. But everything else, like the chocolate we use is vegan, peppermint. The toast has been toasted. One is double the size of the other one. It's an avocado. Thanks. Let's see, which of you is the ripest? My favorite game. This one seems decent. Oh, okay then. Mucho avocado. I've probably seen it. If it's a Hallmark movie, I've probably seen it. I bet I could guess by the voices who stars in it and what the movie is about. It's one that has children. I think that narrows it down to all of them. Is that Lori Laughlin? Is he golfing right now? Yeah. My dad, um, the golf course, it's too cold this time of year to go to the golf course. So to practice his swing, he collects pine cones and he made this little <laughs> setup where he goes with pine cones. Talk about going vegan. Now this is sustainable recreation. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. <laughs> of course, everything but the bagel seasoning. 
I think everything but the bagel seasoning and this my lunch. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. So what is that? The everything and the bagel? Yeah, it's just avocado bread and everything but the bagel seasoning. It's good. There's just no egg. Which one? It's not completely new for me. What's new is I have a camera woman holding the camera for you. Woo! All the angles of me eating toast. My lunch was good, but I just thought, you guys, even though I can't have marshmallows, we did make a little bit of our own peppermint bark. This is the chocolate. It's enjoy life. It's just cane sugar, unsweetened chocolate, and cocoa butter. Post lunch treat because it's Christmas and it's festive. I'm just gonna break off a little piece. Yummy. Look at this cute little towel I got from Lululemon. I'm gonna use it for the first time. It's so soft. I love the pattern. I'm gonna take this to the gym with my new watch. I got rocks all in my watch. Unexpected guest in my vegan for a day. Paula came through with the sweet potato fries. Oh. Delicious. And they told me they're vegan. <laughs> Good. No they're sweet potato. Get wow, an angel among us. Thank you for your service. Okay, I just parked and I'm about to go in the gym. But to be honest, like I don't even, I kind of wanted to take a rest day today. So I think I'm just gonna do something like pretty low key, just like lightly touch muscle groups without going like way hard or anything like that. So that being said, let's get it. camera died unfortunately right as I got to the gym so I got some clips on my phone 284 calories from my workout what I like about the watch is that while I was doing my workout I set it so every 10 minutes it like buzzed it was like okay 10 minutes have gone by to like keep me on track because sometimes I can easily like get distracted on my phone like between sets and rest too much but yeah I really liked working out with it it was lightweight I didn't even notice it but my workout was good for not having any sort of like protein I might plug in what I've eaten so far into life some and just see like what the macros look like because I think I've had a bunch of carbs. Literally, I'm gonna have the most random dinner of things. I'm gonna have some leftover cauliflower gnocchi that I already made, and then I guess I'm gonna cook up some sweet potato and like black beans. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we're doing. Oh, I want to try my cave shake I got. It's like a paleo thing. Cutting up a sweet potato. Live footage of me cutting off my finger with this giant knife. I already know I'm gonna get plenty of criticism with this video, so. <laughs> what is it we're watching with? Hallmark. <laughs> Are you surprised? A movie about a big city woman who comes home and falls in love during the holidays to a small town. I'm gonna try my coffee cave shake. It's keto, paleo, vegan, ready to drink shake. It has not really any protein, three grams. Mm. It's okay, not bad. I can freeze it for an ice cream, maybe I'll do that. Leftover gnocchi. Black beans for some protein. I have no idea what I'm doing. Damn it, I burned a few of them. False pasta sauce. There's nothing. I gotta get a black bean in there. I would not recommend serving it in a restaurant. It's not bad. <laughs> that means it's tolerable? <laughs> yeah, it's tolerable. <laughs> we got a winner, folks. I think the black beans are what really throw it off but I need protein. Mm -hmm. The more I ate it, the more I liked it. So I ate the whole thing, but yeah, it was pretty filling. Last thing I'm gonna eat is for dessert. I'm having some Naramu cookies and cream and I already plugged everything into LifeSum. Thought it'd be fun to see like how the nutrients are balanced. 1,624 calories, which is a little lower than I probably normally eat. I had 73 carbs over my goal 
and look at that, the protein's so low. 246 grams of carbs and only 49 grams of protein, which is not ideal for me. But, you know, this is not an everyday thing for me because of my diet, as I said. So that's how my breakdown looks. Yeah, I had a decent amount of fiber. I had a lot of sugar. But I'm going to eat this and then give my final thoughts for the vlog. First of all, I should have said this in the beginning of the video, but I have mad respect for anyone who's a vegan. There's so many benefits, so many benefits, not just for your health, but for the environment, for the animals. There's just a lot of reasons to go vegan. I think it's awesome. And I definitely want to challenge myself more to eat more vegan meals. I liked it. You got a little creative. It was a good day. So that's pretty much it. That wraps up this vlog. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you could try being vegan for a day, maybe send like better meal ideas for me or something. Any contribution is good. And I don't think we should count that out just because not everyone is like a full blown vegan all the time. You know, being a vegan might not be the best for my everyday lifestyle, but I can definitely do more here and there. Do what works for you, bottom line. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my like vegan what I eat in a day. Hearing about my Band 3 Pro, again, this will be linked down below if you wanna get your very own Band 3 Pro fitness watch. It makes a great gift or just something for the new year. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna watch all my future videos. I'm gonna be vlogging all the time and super excited for new year goals which thumbs up if you enjoyed watching if you made it to the end and yeah i love you guys i will see you in my next vlog i only love Bye. my bed and my mom I'm so